Welcome to the NBC Sports Studios. He is Jerry Bailey. I'm Randy Moss. We're going to take you on our guided tour of the April 1st Florida Derby, which we brought to you live on CNBC, one of the key preps for the Kentucky Derby. A full field of 12 horses. First of all, the heavy favorite, I'm talking one to five, was Forte, the two-year-old champion, the early Kentucky Derby favorite, who is right there in post position number 11. He's got the white the outside, bridle on. In the orange cap. A terrible post for Forte. We also want you to watch number four that would be Mays, who we consider to be his toughest competition two things to watch how wide is Forte going to have to go around the first turn and will Mays get off to a better start here than he did last time in the Fountain of Youth so as we let it roll uh, Forte gets a pretty good break but not so for Mays. Mays again gets off a length or two slow he's already at the back of the pack while Forte is wide here now as Jockey Arad Ortiz Jr. has to get him in closer to the rail in the first turn does a pretty good job he's four Four wide now in the four path. Eventually he gets to the three path. I would consider that successful for the 11 post. And Mage is last. We expected Mage to be way up here close to the pace. At one point going into the first turn, Mage was about three lengths behind Forte. And they are well back. But the good news for both horses is the pace was very lively. Fort Bragg didn't break very well. Rushed up to set the pace. Some pretty quick fractions, which helps when you're that far back early. Cyclone Mischief, who was third with these same a lot of these same horses in the Fountain of Youth, is mid-pack there. Only about five lengths off the lead. Meanwhile, Forte and Mage are starting to narrow the gap. You can't see them in the picture yet, but they're making up the ground. There right you there. go, right there. Mage right there. Forte right there. They're starting to move up. As you get into the far turn, uh, both of them will creep in closer. Forte having the edge on Mage. You can see the orange cap of Forte right there starting to pick, on, pick off horses around the turn. But watch this. Watch the white silks of Mage come up on the outside of Forte, right? Now, Forte's being ridden a little bit here by Arad Ortiz. See his arms? He's, being, he's not being held. He's being ridden a little bit. But look at Mage run right past Forte right here at the point of the second turn. That's not what you want to see if you're a Forte fan right here. If you're jockey Arad Ortiz right now, you're worried because you're, one of your competitors has just gone right past you, and you're already asking your horse for a lot of run at that point. I thought Forte had no chance at this point at the top of the stretch, but he keeps coming. So Mage in only his third lifetime starts, which is his running leads just fine. Forte still got about a length, length and a half to make up right here. But Forte, as he has done throughout his career, only lost once in his career, seems to just find a way to win, surges late, and nails Mage on the wire with Cyclone Mischief third. And with the Kentucky Derby an eighth of a mile farther in distance, that portends very well for Forte as he's coming on late. Now, we still have a lot of other prep races to go before we can really declare how heavy of a favorite Forte is going to be in Kentucky because we've got the Arkansas Derby, which was run later on on April the 1st. Then we've got the, the Santa Anita Derby, the Bluegrass, and the Wood Memorial all coming up next week as well. So a lot of water still to go under the bridge, but Forte looking pretty good right now. Yeah, he's still the leader of the pack, favorite for the Kentucky Derby at this point.